Hello everybody, Betts Golden here. Today I have a card swap that I have to prepare for and I literally need to get it into the mail tomorrow. So I don't normally like to do mass card uh, productions. I, I like to do one at a time, but in this situation I am going to do some mass card production going and I'm going to be using all, well, I don't know, this one might not make it on, but I just think it's so cool. I'm going to be using or try to use everything here to do it. So I'm super excited because it's new to me stuff. And uh, I have the calendar paint system, the Roses by Tattered Angels. And then I have some fun little burlap fringe. Uh, these really cute little token findings from Architectures, which is uh, Seven Gypsies. The keys, there are exactly 11. I need 10 cards, so there we go. These fun little clothespins that I think are so adorable and pink. Fabulous Paris printed canvas sheets. And then I absolutely love this paper. I think it is so pretty. I love the um, weight of it. It's a very nice weight. It almost feels soft. I always say that about canvas core brand paper, but it really does. It feels nice and soft. And the cool thing is since it's, there's no back on it, so it's just one sided. So I can literally fold this as my base of my card. And there are 16 sheets in here. So it's plenty to make. I did go ahead and sketch up a, a card sketch right here. Um, what I'm and I'm going to go and get all of my material made to do that. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for the heart. Okay, so for the hearts, I went ahead and I cut the canvases down into approximately three and one fourth by three and one fourth squares. And then what I am doing is I'm taking my Plumeric Glimmer Glaze and I'm just pouring a little bit of it out onto my craft mat. And I am just dipping it in spots and then I'm taking it off and I'm rubbing it in to get this little color going on here. And now from here, I'm going to take my Roses in Red Glimmer Glam with my brush and I'm going to brush this on in spots. This is a little bit darker. I did go ahead and shake the bottle just a bit. And I'm not looking for complete coverage on this. I may get it, but that's it's okay. It's okay if I don't. My whole point on this is I'm going to cut hearts out of it, but I want to let it set up and just dry slightly before I start to do so. And I'm going to finish this off before I let it dry with some glimmer mist on top of it. Do I want to do the Be Mine or do I want to do the Valentine Pink? I think I'll do Be Mine and we will do the Valentine Pink at the end on our cards. So I'm just going to go ahead. I did put some mixing balls in this to help really mix up and get that mica off the bottom of it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just give a, some spray over it. And we're gonna set that aside to let it dry. So I have all my pieces ready to do my card. And I had that sketch that I went off of. Um, one of the things that I did was the card needed a sentiment. And in the pack, there is this really great sheet that has stains on it. So I just went ahead and cut out the stains that I wanted to use and ran it through my little um, Xyron cutter. This is um, one that is actually, I believe is disposable, so that's pretty cool, great to travel with. And that way it's gonna make it nice and easy to adhere to my card when I am ready. I just cut it down with my trimmer and then I inked the edges and I am left with 10 sentiments that I thought would work nicely on this swap. So I just take this off and now we're ready to go. The first thing I like to lay mine open just so I can see it a little bit better. And I do quite a bit of adhesive on the back because I am going to be using some Valentine pink glimmer mist at the very end and I don't want my papers to lift. So I'm just going to center that here 
And then I'm going to take my burlap and I'm gonna go ahead and just use some Helmer's Tacky Craft Glue, apply it down. At first in my little um, sketch, I had it towards the bottom, but I ended up really liking it more towards the center. And I'm just using this spatula to push it down so I don't get my hands sticky. And then we're going to take one of these hearts and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to apply some tacky glue. I'm taking a little pink clip I'm going to apply that right there on that little canvas heart that we altered. It's easier to do it before you put it down than after. And I'm going to place that right about there. Again, I'm just going to smoosh that down with this. And now I'm going to select one of my sentiments. Where have you been all of my life? Let's do that one. Put, place that down right in the middle and finish off with one of these wonderful little architectural keys. Love it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, set this off for now, finish up my other nine, and then we'll come back and spray them all with some of this wonderful Valentine Pink Glimmer Mist. So I have these all done now, and I've decided to go ahead and cover them with some Be Mine Glimmer Mist and Valentine Pink Glimmer Mist. So I'm just going to go over all of them with the Be Mine. And then next up is the Valentine Pink. And these cards are done. Woo! 10 of them relatively quickly and they're pretty stinking cute. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them to my best of my ability. All of the supplies that I use today can be found at the Canvas Core Brands website in their shop. They own Tattered Angels, Seven Gypsies, and then of course Canvas Core Brands, which are is I have everything here represented. <laughs> I used it all. Until next time, happy crafting!